Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for Taurus for the um, next couple of weeks. Taurus, let's see, what does the Tara have to say about you in life, in love, and everything in between? And I'm using the Nomad Soul Warrior Tara deck. We have a sale right now. If you want to get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior. All right, Taurus, let's get started. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Things are still, um, well, in your mind right now. It feels like things are not really moving the way you expected it. Whether it be depending on, this, on the pace of your dreams, of reaching your goals in life. You know, it's, it seems like the future is very uncertain. Yeah. But two things for sure. Yeah. You want love. You want um, happiness. You want to be at the path towards um, uh, emotional fulfillment. Yeah. And I feel like you have done um, a certain amount of planning, certain amount of preparation towards a certain goal. So it could be you know, those goals can be like wrapping up things. It could be like um, getting a new job or getting a new place, getting married for some, right? So it's more getting that relationship that you have been longing for. You've planned for it. You're wanting to achieve it and wanting to really, you know, get your hands around those dreams of yours. As of the moment, you could it could feel like, Things are still not within your grasp, yeah? But you know where you're heading, yeah? You know where you're heading. And true enough, with the world here, you are almost there, yeah? It would feel like not quite, but you're almost there, yeah? Um, as you continue to gear towards your goals, you know, you continue the, you know, your discipline, your diligence yeah towards achieving those goals whatever you have been doing right now um it could lead you to that goal that you've been wanting and here the six of wands is um, saying that whatever that is it could definitely give you happiness fulfillment and as you continue yeah don't stop consistency is key right here it would feel uh, right now that you are not reaching it just yet or there could be some hurdles or hiccups along the way but you're heading towards that goal and you will find yourself in the next six months you will find yourself um you know being on top of where you want to be it's a good one yeah it's a good one it, it sounds very generic but yeah that's on your cards the view here is like, as of the moment, you may not see, um, you may not actually see where you will be, but since you know where you want to be, you are heading towards that goal. Yeah. And that means you are still in progress, yeah, in the process of getting there. Now, let's um, find out um, more, that's for the general reading. So that could apply into your life, in your career, um, in life in general. Let's see, what can we get in terms of love? Uh, okay, you've got two cards here that are pertaining mostly on emotions in love, you know, in how we feel, how we react to things. And um, it's time to take that step. It's time to make that decision. If you find yourself... Um, at a place right now where things feel stagnant, things feels like it's not moving anywhere, it is because you are encouraged to make a decision to take that step, whatever that is, that next step that you're supposed to do. So if you're stuck in a situation that means that you have reached a certain level, yeah, it could be some certain level of success if it is about life in general. If it is about love, you have reached a certain level of getting to know someone, yeah, or a certain level of connecting with somebody. And it's time to take that situation to the next level, you know, to take that step. If you have been with someone for 
a few months, a few weeks, then perhaps it's time to, you know, start talking about maybe uh, dating, yeah, exclusively, for instance, if that is something that you're heading for. Because I could see that that could be what you have been longing, yeah, to have that uh, special someone in your life that you can share your life with, be happy with, you know, and um, expand more, yeah, experience more about life. It's time to take that step. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll feel that things are just going to be stuck in a certain spot, in a certain um, situation. And before you know it, um, for the moment, it could feel like you're the one um, getting the situation stuck. right? But as you go along, as you continue to be with someone, to exchange energies with someone... You must know that the other person also have to have their own energies, right? So if you delay, it could also train the other person to delay further. So by the time you're ready, there is a question there. Is your person also going to be ready at the same time? Yeah. But given that you have the chariot here, it feels like the person that you are dealing with right now... Um, It could be that they're a little bit confused as to what's going on in, in your connection. It could feel like... Uh, it could feel like they are ready yeah, to offer you something and yet you are not ready to accept it. Yeah. But here the card says it's time for you to take that step. Yeah. Quickly. Don't delay. Yeah. Otherwise, the Eight of Swords will get you stuck in a in a certain situation. Now let's let's delve deeper into this uh, connection that you may have. This could be a person that you have been dealing with, or the person in your mind right now. Yeah, both of you are actually wanting the same thing. You bo you both want a traditional sense of um, belongingness or partnership. Yeah, in a certain situation. So um, if you want relationship, this person also wants that. Yeah, specifically with you too. Yeah, there is, there is that sense that um, attraction is there. It feels like you both are sharing um, similar interests. Yeah, you could have similar hobbies, you know. You could be painting together, dancing together and all that. But there is that sense that both of you have the same, um, you're both aligning in terms of passion in life. You may have similar hobbies. And you have both wanting to have this traditional type of uh, togetherness. Yeah, No matter what the modern world has been um, saying, it feels like both of you are wanting that traditional sense of the hierophant type of energy. Right, wanting to be together, one on one, being there for each other, um, helping, supporting each other, right, side by side. I feel like Taurus, um, you may have been hurt in the past, and uh, that said, yeah, you may also have took some time to heal your wounds, to heal yourself, yeah, and open up to this person. But vulnerability is required. There are things that you may not uh, fully share with the other person. Yeah. And if only you are able to share those, then you can bounce back ideas. You can share your thoughts. The other person can also understand and try to share yeah, what they have in mind. And then you have that conversation. Because you have someone here who loves you. who cares for you, who is trying to understand you. On the other hand, on your end, there could be some um, hesitation for you to open up. A lot of things are going on in your head, but there are some hesitations uh, on your end to fully open up to this person, primarily because you may have been hurt in the past and you have put up that guard so that you don't get to be hurt once again. Or you don't get hurt once again. So you're kind of protecting yourself. But the fact remains that both of you want the same thing. Yeah? If you're both wanting the same thing, you have a person who loves you, that's good. 
um, in terms of how you feel towards each other. You have similar goals, but you have different means of achieving those. You have similar way of feeling towards each other, of what you feel towards each other. That means if you feel and care and love this person, they do the same. Yeah, they also feel love and care about you. Um, but you're more looking uh, for a connection, a relationship. Like I said, it's a traditional ones. And at the same time, you want it to be really romantic. I feel like you wish to have grand gesture from this person. Those big gesture. Not necessarily that they have to spend a lot. It's more like, you know... You want that this person would do something, would, would uh, create some or give or show some gesture, appreciation or even the gifts of time yeah, in, in uh, preparing something for you, a romantic moment or it's a big gesture, the big uh, action, right, which can really warm your heart. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, your person doesn't know that. Yeah, you have a person here who could also be trying to really understand you, but they wouldn't fully understand you if you don't open up of what you truly want, what you wish for from a relationship. So you have a person who is wanting to understand you, but they are not mind readers. Yeah, it's it's better to open up things, to open up to this person and set your expectations. Yeah, If you're putting this person on trial... Yeah, wanting them to behave or act as they are, yeah, because only then you could tell or you would you would decide whether do you really want this person in your life. Yeah. So you're kind of putting this person on a test or testing them, not um intentionally, but your way of dealing with things, you're testing them. And you have a person here who is willing to do what it takes to have you in their life, willing to build a life together with you, willing to offer you whatever they can. Yeah, You have someone here who loves you. But they also need to know what they are, what makes you happy or happier, what makes you um, want to be with them. Yeah, in terms of feelings, I do see that you have someone here who truly loves you, actually, who's willing to propose, willing to be with you in the long run. Yeah, because this person knows that a life with you is not a game. Yeah, the life with you is something that they can build on. Yeah, you can both build together um, and something that could last uh, a while yeah, in long term. Yeah, they see the value in this connection. Yeah, they know that you want romance. Um, but you have a person here who needs a little bit of guidance. Yeah, I feel like they would continue to to offer you whatever they can. But in order for your experience to truly be um, fulfilled, the Taurus, it's better to share, to let this person know what you want. Mm -hmm. I know there is a saying that if you already do, if you already tell them what you want, then you're not actually... And it's just easy for this person to do, right? So they're not actually doing things out of from or from the goodness of their heart. No, but in this case, you have a person who loves you. Um, they just need a little bit of guidance on how to make you happier. Yeah, Perhaps both of you were, were brought up in a different type of um, environment or you have different backgrounds, different culture, right? So it's, it's good to share what you want out of this relationship. So, because you have a person here who is willing to fulfill your desires. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this uh, resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.